Pergamos. He said, I got seven churches here. To the first church, y'all know what he said? You all have veered off course. I know sometimes we think that we can do no wrong. You know, I, uh, I started writing a few years ago. And at that time, I could write perfectly. Praise the Lord. This was back around 1999. I'm talking about I wrote error free. Nothing misspelled. This was before spell checker. <laughs> yeah. I would write. And so one time I had my supervisor at work. I wanted him to check my paper. I was going to the University of Phoenix, and I knew I was writing error free. And I said, Fred, I need you to check my paper just because I really, what I wanted him to do was read, amen, how perfectly I wrote it. I wanted him to read the content. <laughs> it, was, it was a backhanded bragging. <laughs> I said, Fred, if you see anything wrong, you can correct it. I knew I was going to get a pristine paper back with no correction. I couldn't even read what I had written with all of those correction marks written on it. Yeah. He had to mess my paper up. He bled all over my paper. I'm talking about I had misspelled words, I had commas where they shouldn't and none where they should. When I first got it back, I had made my mind up. I'll never let him mess up another one of my papers. <laughs> yeah. Because the scripture says this. I learned a lesson. Every man in his own eyes is right. See, I didn't want nobody to make no corrections on my stuff until I saw how wrong I was. Jesus said to that first church in Ephesus, he said, you have left your first love. He said, you walking around here thinking that you're right and you're all together wrong. He said, you better go back to the checklist. You talking about going to heaven? He said that you don't know that Let me let me tell you. Let me let me read it to you what he said. In Revelations chapter number two, he said that in verse four, nevertheless, to the church of Ephesus, he said, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. love. He said, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and Repent and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except you repent. He said, I'm gonna I'm gonna take what you have away from you. And do you all not know it progressed on through till you got to the last church in Revelation, to the church of Laodicea? To the church. Can everybody say the church? the church? Now I'm not talking about to the group that called themselves the church. I'm talking about to the people that God called the church. See, it's something for us to call ourselves church. It's another thing for us to for God to say, you are the church. Because some folks, he's, you know, he said that they're going to say to him, you know, Lord, Lord. He's going to say, I, you all can go on because you never was my people. But these are the ones that he called the church. To the last one he got to Laodicea and he said you all don't know that you are neither hot nor cold and because you are that I'm spitting you out of my mouth. Church it is needful for us to deal with today you must be born again. born again. This is not an indictment on anyone this is just a checklist for everyone. Amen. Yes. This is a checklist. Amen. Are you there? Church, 
children always be asking. I'm talking about you just crunk the car. Are we there yet? You don't even left the parking lot. Are we there yet? Praise the Lord. We are the children of the Lord. And, and there's nothing wrong for us to ask the Lord. Father, am I there yet? Am I where you want me to be? You know, have I, can I, can I, at least, can I, can I check off the first thing on the checklist? Am I in the kingdom of God? Do I measure up? Am I born again? Some are there. And it is a good thing. But here we are 2009 years after the fact and some have let your fire go cold. You are no longer hot for God. You have let the affairs of this life steal your joy in the Lord. You have become more concerned, amen, about the false god of wealth Mm, come on now. And forsaken the God who give all wealth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You must be born again. Amen. Born again. Praise the Lord. God is saying to everybody, it doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, you must be born again. Born again. Born of the water and of the spirit. Because Jesus is definitely coming back. And he's coming back for his own. Everybody who's not his, the Bible says there's a place reserved for you too. Called the lake of fire. A place of separation, a place of darkness, a place of desolation. There will be no friends there. Friendship is a quality that is a part of the virtue of God. Amen. And none of the virtue of the Lord will be in heaven. There won't be no friend there. There won't be no loved one there. For loved one is a virtue of the Lord. Amen. And nothing of the Lord will be there. It will be a place of total death, separation, my God, and eternal destruction. Because you have chose to separate yourself from the things of your Father. Amen. You must be Again. Born again. Amen. Amen. You must be born, born again. again. Amen. You must be born again. I must be born, born again. again. Amen. Everybody in this earth must be born, born again. again. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, church, let us make our calling and election sure. Amen. Praise the Lord. My brother Dominic, would you stand up and we're going to have a word of prayer. Amen. What we're going to do is we're going to pray with you. Amen. Just a prayer of repentance. Is there anybody else who have heard the call of God? Amen. It's time for you to take your stand and say, God, it's me. It's my time. I'm not going to let this moment pass me by. Yes, Lord. I surrender all to you, and I want everything that you have for me today. For this is the day that you have made. And I want my eyes today. Glory to God. Is there someone else? It might be one of the children. It might be one of the elders. It might be somebody who have let your fire go out. And you are not in the place where you know you should be. God is saying, it's time for you to be born again. It's time for you to come home. And know him and not just about him. But to know him as Savior of your soul. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 